What's going on trading world? In this video, we're gonna discuss which prop firm challenge you should do. And I do not mean which company you should do it with. I mean the exact challenge that you should do. Now I've smashed a lot of prop firm challenges and this is probably the best advice that I can give you if you're looking to get funded and stay funded. I've got two really good points that I wanna discuss with you. So if you're looking to get funded and stay funded, watch the rest of this video. So if you're watching this video, there's currently two situations that you could possibly be in, okay? Number one situation is that you have a working strategy, you have, you're part of a mentorship, you have a course, you're doing something where a strategy is working, you can back test it, you can live test it, you're trading it, it's working, you're somewhat profitable. Maybe you just can't pass the right challenge, but it's working, right? That's situation number one. Situation number two is you don't really have a working strategy. You kind of have a working strategy. You're possibly looking at buying a course or you're trying different strategies out. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, sometimes you can back test it, sometimes you can't back test it, and you're at a break even phase. Either way, for both of these situations, I'm gonna give you the exact challenge that you should do for option number one or option number two because there is a difference there, okay? Now, if you are in category number one where you have a working strategy, you feel comfortable trading trading, you're, you know, you feel like you're good with the strategy, you're good with back testing, you're good with live testing, you're just struggling with passing the challenge. Here's the key advice that I'm going to give you. Okay. Take the challenge that you can afford to lose five times in a row. All right. That means if the challenge costs $500, make sure that you can afford to lose $2,500 without it hurting your pocket. That means you can pay rent next month. You can pay for your credit cards. You can afford to go out on the weekend. It really won't have much of a financial impact in your life. If you take a $500 challenge and you were to lose it five times in a row, you see, we still have an emotional uh, attachment to money. So when we take this challenge, the challenge itself already is a gamble. You are expected to make 100% return on the money on the challenge that you're doing. It's extremely difficult to do and it's extremely nerve wracking, especially when you're putting up money that you really can't afford to lose. Now, when you take a challenge that you can afford to lose five times in a row, right? You can afford to lose it. You lose it once, no big deal. You lose it twice, no big deal. You pass the third time, maybe you pass the fourth time. You're going to be much more calm taking the challenge. Each loss you take, is not going to hurt you. It's not going to affect you. Your heart's not going to be popping out of your chest. This is extremely important because you want to be as calm and emotionless as you possibly can when you're taking the challenge. So if this means that you can only afford to take a 10K challenge, but you really want to do 100K, that's fine. What you need to do is take the 10K challenge and I'll share with you in the end what you need to do after, but take the 10K challenge if that's what you can afford to lose five times. Because guess what? On that 10K challenge, you're going to perform much better than you would have performed on a 100K challenge where you're going to be extremely nervous. Your heart's going to be beating. Every time you take a loss, you're going to be getting upset. Your emotions are going to be going all over the place. So for situation number one, if you have a working strategy, you feel confident with it, take the challenge that you can afford to lose five times in a row. I know it sounds boring, but if you really want to get ahead with this Forex funding thing, you need to follow this advice. Option number two is that you're still working on your strategy. Maybe you just joined a course or a mentorship and you're just learning the strategy. You're back testing. You haven't been able to really figure it out that well. Maybe you haven't been trading for too long, but you know, you still want to do a challenge because you feel like everybody else is doing one. You want to get a couple of challenges under your belt. You want to maybe improve your skills via doing a challenge instead of having to trade a small like a hundred dollar account which can get really frustrating at times because nobody wants to place 0.01 lot sizes so you know what taking challenges is a great way of improving your skills yes i understand make sure that number one you know you can obviously afford to lose these challenges because you will be losing them but advice for those people that are still working on strategy confidence and profitability is take the cheapest available challenge to you in the market. And from my knowledge, that challenge is a my Forex funds uh, 5K challenge, okay? I have a 5% discount link you can use in the description below if you choose to. That's probably the cheapest one you can do. It's about $49, you know, take that challenge, treat it seriously, risk 1% per, per day, use the 30 days, treat it like you would be treating a $100,000 challenge and try to use that ch challenge to improve your uh, skill set, your risk management, um, you know, your strategy, whatever you have to do. And then, you know, if you have to take that challenge a couple more times, what it's going to do for you is it's going to improve your skill set. It's going to improve your confidence. And eventually once you are profitable and you have a working strategy, you can move up to a, a challenge that you can afford to lose five times. And hopefully you can pass that challenge. Now, if you have actually stuck around till this part of the video, I'm going to give you guys a bonus tip. Um, you know, I've done a lot of challenges. I've been interviewed by FTMO. I've smashed over probably, I'd say, a quarter million dollars in prop firm payouts so far. And one bonus advice that I can give you instead of just jumping into like a big challenge 
and going crazy and trying to hit home runs the best thing that i could advise you to do and i would do if i was to start all over again and this is something that i teach to my students in tradinglp.com which if you want to learn how to smash challenges hit the link in the description below i think we have two spots left for the month once you have a profitable strategy and it's working out for you and you feel like you can pass a challenge you know you can pass the challenge that you can lose five times in a row let's say that's a 50k challenge for you right you can afford that five times in a row to lose do that challenge once you do that challenge pass phase two once you pass phase two try to aim for a two to three percent profit on your first month okay try to aim for between two, even one to i would say three percent and i always say this to all my students as soon as you hit two three percent stop trading on the account and request your payout as soon as possible what this is going to do is number one uh you're going to get your investment back so the money that you invested in the challenge you will get it back in return so you'll get that money back and now essentially you're trading with free money the house's money because you've got your investment back you can use that investment now to do another challenge which will increase your confidence and lower the pressure that you have the number two thing it's going to get you to do is it's going to get you into the mode of getting into withdrawals okay what that means is you need to start creating a habit of hitting the withdrawal button a lot of trade Traders will make a bunch of money on a funded account on a live account but they'll never actually hit the withdraw button and I remember my first mentor first told me you need to hit withdraw as many times as possible because subconsciously your mind next time when you see some profits four or five percent you're gonna want to hit that withdraw button again and preferably if you could buy something with your first little small profit it really helps out a lot my first profit split was twenty eight hundred dollars from ftmo about a year and a half ago i bought this iphone 12 i still use it i touch it every day you know i use it to trade i use it to post on instagram whatever this is real this was from my profit so best advice i can give you is follow the advice that i gave you in this video Get yourself to your first profit split, get your investment back, invest it back into more profit splits, and then you can roll your way into 100, 200, all the way up to four or five hundred thousand dollars in funding and um, you know do whatever you want after that if you like this video and this content please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button and we've got lots more of videos coming see you